Well, the market was a little bit more volatile this week with a pretty decent sized down day, not even about 100 points, and then yesterday being up uh, over 120 points, which is the most volume we've, I mean, the most volatility we've seen this year so far. Um, the reason the market is still in the rally mode is because economic numbers have been pretty good. And in particularly, uh, in particular, uh, yesterday, <clears throat> the unemployment claims, the weekly unemployment claims, which is a leading economic indicator, fell below 350,000 for the first time in, what, four years? A long time. Uh, indicating that maybe a job, a job market is starting to look a little bit better. If that's the case, then, of course, economic activity and retail sales, consumer has more money in their pocket, the government gets more tax dollars. So the thinking is, is well, maybe... Uh, Maybe we're going to gain more strength as the year goes on in our economic activity. <clears throat> and I, I think that is that assumption is probably true. But what I find interesting is that everybody's ignoring the problems in Europe again, for the short term, they are anyways, especially in Greek. Uh, this week we have had some pretty strong talk that the debt deal that they finally agreed to the details, the devil's in the details, are coming out that maybe Greek won't accept them, or that the details are so onerous that uh, it's going to be unacceptable to the populace in Greece, because uh, they're telling they're going to be telling Greece exactly how to spend their money, you know what they what they have to pay down, and they're going to put more people there, so that deals might not go through. Okay, now what would that mean? It may, it may mean that we've already built that scenario into the market price and no one really cares too much. But more likely, we will have a, a slump if that deal fails. If, that, if, it, if, the, if the deal fails for Greece, then what? Greece then has to leave the EU. Well, how do they do that? They default on all these loans. What is that going to have the effect on banks? Um, so all those things are still not quite clear. Therefore, it could be a problem. Meanwhile, our economy seems to be doing fairly well. Uh, the stock market, um, the NASDAQ and the, uh, the Dow have broken their 52-week highs, and the S&P 500 is right at it today, this morning, uh, getting very close to it yesterday. So the question is, do we would break through and will it continue? But I still think we're, we're set. We're setting ourselves up for a pullback of some kind. I don't think it's going to be a major pullback, but something that we need to be aware of. Uh, and it'll be a pullback to buy. The pullback may be, the excuse may be for that pullback, may be Greece. But in reality, the market is just being overbought now. It's uh, it's kind of overbought. It's stretching, like stretching a rubber band. And it's probably going to let go and pull back a little bit. And that would be normal. So uh, I, I'm anticipating that, and so should you. So should everybody.